What was better for you tonight than a couple of the recent starts? Yeah, I uh, normally when I get in a stretch like this, I do a little deep dive and, and look at things. And um, I just gone through a stretch where my pitch execution just hadn't been where I needed to be. I was using some pitches in situations that you know was probably overthinking it and not to my strengths a little bit. So try to simplify the approach a little bit. Try to use my pitches where they're you know they've been successful all year long and um, really just kind of. You know, OO especially focused on execution um, and really kind of just got a little bit of a finer focus on where I wanted to throw pitches. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think there's times where I can use the middle of the plate and use the big part of the zone. But I think I'd done that a little bit too much where teams were aggressive and, you know, it had kind of come back to bite me. So tried to work a little bit more on the thirds tonight and, and get a little bit more fine on the focus. What did you call that deep dive? <laughs> the last week, you know, just, uh, um, you know, going through a lot of different stuff. I'd, you guys would look at the sheet and you'd call me crazy, so I don't need to get into it too much. When you get the type of support you're getting in a game like this, you got really good team support hitting and fielding. Does that make it easier for you to concentrate on what you're doing? Yeah, no doubt. Um, anytime you can go out there and a solo homer doesn't tie the game or, or give up the lead, it makes a big difference. Um, you know, and they've just done really well for me all year, you know, giving me leads and, and making it comfortable for us out there. You know, where I can go out there and, and work on just getting ground balls and early contact and you know, making it deep in a game. So, um, you know, I told them that just now after the game. You know, hats off to the offense. They've done a great job, you know, in a game where, uh, you know, we're right in the middle of a West Coast swing, finishing it up. It's been a long six days for us so far. And everybody knows we got a long flight ahead of us. Um, and, you know, they did a really good job of, of getting the lead and, and uh, you know, giving the pitching staff a chance to work. There's always ebbs and flows in a season. You know, last year you didn't have the September you wanted this year, you didn't have the August you wanted. Do you think you're in position to have the type of s stretch run in September and October that you want? Yeah, honestly, um, you know, part of this, you know, last week was just sitting here and, and mentally taking a break and mentally, you know, not uh, not worrying about what the last month was. You know, really turning the page on the calendar month and and um, understanding that there's nothing I can do about it about that month, um, and understand that if I put too much pressure on myself thinking about. October, the next start, or whatever it might be, um, it's not going to do myself any good. You know, um, August was what it was. Yeah, it was frustrating to be, you know, as inconsistent as I was. You know, you're going to give up runs, you're going to get beat. Um, but when the manager doesn't, doesn't necessarily know what he's going to get out there, you know, when the starter takes him out, that's the frustrating part. So um, for me, it's just one start at a time. And I know that sounds simple, it's cliche, but it's the best way for me to stay focused on what I'm trying to do.